Okay, Stephen Walker, boy, you're an inventor <laughs> of the circuit pen. I guess that's what you call it. Uh, the circuit scribe, but it, it's really uh, like a pen. So you're drawing circuits. But, you know, it, it's a fantastic idea. Uh, and I think you're going to change the world and educate America on how to be more inventive themselves. But you're so smart inventing all this stuff. But I can't understand why weren't you smart enough on Kickstarter to realize you didn't ask for enough. <laughs> I mean, you asked for $85,000 and you're already up to $425,000. Don't they teach you anything in college? <laughs> yeah, we're really pleased with the response we're getting on, on Kickstarter. It's been, it's been really nice to see a lot of people believe in the work. And this, the project on Kickstarter, I mean, like for 20, 30, 50 bucks, I mean, you have something you can make circuits and, you know, turn on lights and all this stuff just by drawing stuff on a, you know, through this magic pen you have. I mean, uh, you, know, you should be charging hundreds of dollars, not <laughs> 20 or 30. Yeah, we're pretty happy that we can keep the cost low and, uh, and still like have a nice viable product that people yeah. can use to really make stuff with. We're really proud of that. But the, what you have on Kickstarter now is really almost, you know, can be used as an educational tool, right? For young people that are want to get interested in this, you know, the technology that's you know, transforming the world, they could start drawing circuits now and making them work. Yeah, we, we have it to where it's really accessible to where anyone who, who has, kind of has the penmanship to just write basic <laughs> things in straight lines can, can make a circuit all the way to... Uh, to more complicated makers who really want to make some, a more complicated prototype, ah. sort of the entire spectrum of, of from STEM education, from very early learning on circuits, all the way up to a complicated circuit slash hardware prototype. So even like, like for Christmas now, you know, if you're watching this for Christmas time, I mean, this is a great little uh, package or whatever, particularly for only 30, 50 bucks or whatever, because it's going to be a lot more of that when you're on the shelves, right? <laughs> and, and But more so to encourage young people, young women that are not, you know, involved in uh, electronics as much as guys are who like taking apart everything, but they're just as smart once they go. I mean, there's other countries that prove this already. <laughs> we just don't yes, yes. encourage them, right? And so this is a really a good tool to encourage people. And from what I see in f following money and what money's available to do things in life, man, if you're a woman and interested in circuits, <laughs> you can probably get a lot of money to go to school. There's lots of jobs available if, if that's what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a way, I mean, I, I would say a way to not only uh, encourage, but to see if there's an interest because it, it, it's at a, a, a young person can really learn and, and figure out if there's an interest in this kind of subject by just you know, your 30 buck package or whatever. <laughs> right. It's a pretty low risk investment to see yeah, if you're interested. Yeah. And then if you're a maker, you're really making stuff and you want real circuits, man. <laughs> you know, this is for that too, huh? Yeah. And so your other thing, now this can actually be printed out of a printer too, the, the, the circuits. I mean, the, with the ink. So we, we have inks also available uh, on, we have inks that we've also developed that can be printed out of inkjet printers, air, airbrushed, uh, sprayed on, as well as dip coated, ah, spin coated, and ah, just deposited on all sorts of substrates as well. So no more soldering irons huh, with all this kind of stuff. Yeah, wow. yeah, it's, it's really integrates well for the, what, what printed electronics is becoming. So you're going to put all these Chinese people who are making our printed circuit boards out of business because now we could just draw them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all of them, but we're hopeful <laughs> maybe we're going to run their money. <laughs> but, but what a great you know, uh, technology breakthrough, it seems. I don't know anything about the industry, so maybe I'm, uh, I'm blowing hot air. But it, it seems that if you're able to get a, a, something like this that can even be, you know, eventually, you know, with certain, I guess, adjustments, come out of a printer to do these things, you, you eliminate a lot of this handwork that must be doing in this stuff in factories. Yeah. There's a lot of interest and a lot of development work in printed yeah. electronics for developing yeah. these inks so just, just for that, so that... Now, instead of having to worry about all these complicated production lines, you have normal printing equipment that can all of a sudden print actual functional devices instead of just printing written words, et cetera. You can actually print meaningful devices and make them very in large quantities very cheaply. Wow. So what used to print my books when I used to do books, books are out of business. These, <laughs> these printing companies are going to be printing circuits with using your ink <laughs> instead of the ink I used in my books. Yeah, yeah. No, that's definitely part of it. Yeah, well, that, that's incredible. I mean, how about even, I, I guess that really, uh, 
you know, snowballs into defense work and everything. I mean, everything runs on circuit boards nowadays. So you really invented something that's going to make a hell of a lot easier, a hell of a lot cheaper to make circuits for anything, whether it's my <laughs> microphone or my cell phone or, or, you know, turning on the light switch. Yeah, that's the goal is we're really trying to develop easy to use products that integrate into the current manufacturing infrastructure to really just increase quality of life by making the devices that we use wow. all the time, like electronics. Yeah, well, that's a nice, so you can take what you're doing with your PhD, and you just got your PhD, right? In, in yeah, not that long ago, April of this year. Yeah. <laughs> but who's counting it? <laughs> <laughs> and, and now you say you, you're able to do with that, improve quality of life of other people. I mean, that's, that must be a wonderful feeling, yeah. It does. Uh, it's really rewarding work. I got to yeah. say, it's really nice to get up in the morning and have that sort of motivation. All right. Well, I mean, you have to have some motivation to get through the PhD program in engineering. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but you said, I guess uh, the, the, your your mentor there or advisor started this work earlier. Is that right? That she's been developing something. Yeah, Jennifer Lewis has done quite a bit of work in printed uh-huh. electronics, and uh, so, so some of the developments on the ink on the on the particle side on the mm-hmm. particle based inks. Uh, were done by colleagues of mine in the in the research group earlier, and then this just been refined further and further, and then and then spanned across different into, uh, different application areas. So once you got your PhD, you said, "Hey, let's start a business." Huh? <laughs> 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 Why teach? Let's start a business, and you started this business. And really, the 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 university there had incubators to help you get off the ground with your business. Is that how it works? Yeah, the University of Illinois has great incubator space. We have an entire park developed to spin, spin off technologies called Research Park. And then I, I am located at Enterprise Works, which has entire lab spaces developed wow. towards sort of incubating this t- technology and making it grow and developing it into, into a full fledged business. Wow. And so the university, because they gave you all this equipment to help you d- develop this and invent this, they take a little partnership out of this too for you, huh? Yeah, so since it was developed during our graduate during the graduate work uh-huh. uh, when I was doing my PhD, then they do they do get a small portion of equity in the company as well as a, some small royalty as far as wow, actually producing anything. So they're good business people too, huh? Oh yeah, yeah they don't have to <laughs> they're not going to let that slip through their fingers, right? <laughs> so that's what. So to find this now, anybody could go on Electronic Inks. So E L E C T R O N I N K S right dot com. And you could find out about all the stuff you're doing and also f- get to the quick starter page real fast because right. that's where the consumer could really make out on this stuff and find out about it and help young people, you know, learn more about electronics and edu- uh, engineering and the like. Or if you're a maker and want to just make stuff in life, you've got that little thing going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Steve. It's awfully nice to talk to you. and. Glad you're getting a PhD in this and making our life better. Well, thank you, and I think I appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> Take care. You too.